Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of limits. We have been told that for all n belongs to natural numbers, we have been given a function of x that's product of some trigonometric functions where first is tan x by 2, then we have 1 plus sec x, 1 plus sec 2x, 1 plus sec 4x, and this goes on and on till 1 plus sec of 2 raised to n into x. So basically it is product of all the functions of 1 plus sec into 2 raised to some power and x and that goes from 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 till 2 raised to n, right? So first of all, to understand this question, we have been also then asked the question that its limit extends to 0 fn of x upon 2x is equal to how much? We have been given four options that says first option 0, second is 2 raised to n, then we have 2 raised to n minus 1 and then we have 2 raised to n plus 1. So these are the four options given to us. First of all, let's understand how to solve this type of questions. Now what I'll do is instead of taking the entire expression of the function at once, we will first solve this part of the function. So if I try to solve this part of the function, what I get here is I can write tan of x by 2 as sine theta upon cos theta. So sine of x by 2 upon cos of x by 2. This part, which is in the product, becomes 1 plus sec theta is 1 by cos theta. So that makes it sine x by 2 cos x by 2 and this becomes 1 plus cos x upon cos x. Now what I get from here is sine x by 2 cos x by 2 1 plus cos theta I know it is 2 cos square theta by 2 right. So 1 plus cos x I can use it as 2 cos square x by 2 upon cos x again. So what I can cancel from this side is cos 1 cos x by 2 can be cancelled from both sides. Now what you are left with is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. So 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 upon cos x. Now if I solve this, I know the formula for this that when it is sin 2 theta, it is 2 sin theta into cos theta. So if I know it is 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2, I can write it in terms of double angle as sin of x, right? And this is cos x. So sin x upon cos x, I can write it as tan x. So I can understand one idea. Now I can write it on the next page. That my function which was given to us was like this. That it said product of tan x by 2 with 1 plus sec x with 1 plus sec 2x, then 1 plus sec 4x. And this goes on and on till 1 plus sec 2 raised to n x. Now we already solved the product of first two and what we got this was, this came out to become tan of x. And again, it is 1 plus sec 2x, 1 plus sec 4x. This goes on and on till 1 plus sec of 2 raised to n x. Now what I understand from this is, see, if you compare this, tan of x by 2 into 1 plus sec x gave you tan x. So now tan of x into 1 plus sec 2x, right? If I solve this also further as we solved in the previous two product of the functions, what we got was tan x. So basically whatever we are getting is for this product of two functions, we got it as tan of the double angle. So now here I will get it as tan of 2x. Again, it is 1 plus sec 4x, sec 4x. I can write a sec of 2 square x. And this goes on and on till 1 plus sec of 2 raised to n into x, right? So again, if I see the product of these two functions will now again become tan of 2 square x or I can write it as tan of 4x, right? After that, again, I will have 1 plus sec function. So if I solve these two functions at a time, I can basically write this entire function in terms of tan if I want to write it. I can write it as 
This entire thing will ultimately become tan of 2 raised to n into x. Right? So now if I apply the limit to the function, which is asked to us, that said limit extends to 0. This function was divided by 2x. If I apply that idea, limit extends to 0. We already found out a different idea for this function that was entirely this. Now I can write and instead of this, I can just write tan of 2 raised to n into x. So if I write just that tan of 2 raised to n into x upon 2x. Now we know one very important idea that whenever a limit is there for tan theta, you should have that same angle theta in the denominator. So that becomes one. Right? So we need to adjust this same angle which is present in the numerator. So we need to adjust that in the denominator as well. So limit extends to 0 tan of 2 raised to n into x. Here instead of 2, I'll take that 2 out. And instead of x, I will write here 2 raised to n into x. So basically what I'm doing is I just multiplied my denominator with 2 raised to n. So if I multiply my denominator with 2 raised to n, I need to multiply it with numerator as well, right? So I'll take 2 raised to n and 2 out. Now if I apply limit to the function that says tan of theta upon the same angle theta, tan theta upon theta, this entire thing becomes 1, right? So this entire thing becomes 1 now. And what I get the answer for the question which is asked to us, that's just 2 raised to n upon 2 into 1. So it's 2 raised to n upon 2. Or I can write this as 2 raised to n into 2 raised to minus 1. Or I can write it as 2 raised to n minus 1. Right? So this is the answer of the question which is asked to us. That what is the limit of the function x divided by 2x? And that we get as 2 raised to n minus 1. So the answer for the question is asked to us is option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. You can solve the same question by various other methods as well. So choose whatever method you are comfortable with. Okay. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Thank you.